Brian, I'm in Minnesota for the very first time. All right, well, just hit, hit the ground. Have not looked around yet. Probably won't get a chance to do none of that. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm in Minnesota. I'm here with my good friend, Pastor. How you doing, Pastor? Bless ya! Bless ya! <laughs> <laughs> we headed to the hen house. <laughs> We ain't even got in good yet, but we gonna find us a place to eat. So we're good to eat, so we'll get in Up the in house and updates. Bridget, you want cupcakes? No. <laughs> And Bridget is threatening Pastor Shula about sneakers <laughs> and sweets. Tell him about them Jordans I had. She and told me I couldn't get. We trying to get Jordans, and Bridget <laughs> telling us we can't get none. Bridget, what say ye, Bridget? What say ye about them Jordans? I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's Bishop Bismarck right there on the pole. Bishop Tudor pole to the right back. across. Apostle Joshua John, Bishop Tudor Bismarck. And I'm here with the with the with the family here. This is all right here in Minneapolis. These people are All right, I made it for the first time to the Mall of America. <laughs> so, that's not so. So they got them a whole little cafe going slash bank type of thing going on. Yeah, I guess you can get you coffee. <laughs> get you coffee and bank. Listen, I'm at the Mall of America, first time here. Listen, this is just extravagant. <laughs> this is pretty big. Now, I do know malls all over America are closing down, and this one might have its day. I don't know. But uh, the way it looks, it's pretty massive. This is pretty massive. Oh, now that's, what is this place here? Everything from the, oh, Armani Exchange. Got, that, got bat girl and cat girl. <laughs> They think they grown. <laughs> oh yeah, we show this. All right. Somebody else. Oh, that's what you get. Oh, that's what you get. We're going to have a high experiment. This is the best model. This is the camera. This is the camera. Apostle Joshua Giles. We are here at the Mantle. We are at it. So we're headed in. All right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look who we done found. 
from the south, from Florida and Texas, and we are gathered in this place, and we didn't come to play church tonight. Come on, tell somebody, I came to get something from God tonight. Oh, I something that you are about to push out in this place. And I just need about a thousand of you in this place to open up your mouth and release a sound of travail. time on your behalf. I'm speaking this prophetically and apostolically over you. You're getting ready to experience what the Holy Spirit has been telling me is a time jump. Year before you said it and we've been following you. I was shocked that they were following but they said, how did you know that it was going to happen? Because we live ahead of time. So our God doesn't just show us a food shortage. He shows us a miracle in the shortage. Because in the kingdom, shortage is not a word. Or people that weren't even in apostolic and prophetic circles are beginning to embrace the apostolic, the apostolic anointing, the apostolic sphere, apostolic terminology, so forth and so on. And so... I say we'll worship forever, all my worshipers say We'll worship the Lord forever again what day is this, this is day two three What's friday? friday and how has it been so far sweetie Fire. Well, no, you ain't. when you are in the presence of a general that is commanding an army and when we have that kind of experience through a person we must honor that anointing that's on them this man of god is shaking nations bishop hugh Daniel Smith, leader of Jabula. I'm so excited. Amen. I also want to be and so many others that were there. And he didn't even touch me, I don't think. He just blew. And when he... The Lord is decreeing in this very moment that the very thing that happened to Isaiah is getting ready to happen to you. He took something from heaven and put it on his mouth. And, and the Lord is releasing the fire of God, the fire of his holiness on your mouth. And I hear the Lord saying he's gonna use you to clean up the music industry. And there's something you're gonna do. And when you speak, Holiness is going to come through your song. Separation and sanctification is going to come. And God says he's answering your prayer that you prayed as a little boy. I see you as a little boy in the same position that you're in right now in some church somewhere. 
and you cried to God for holiness, and the Lord said, today he has heard your cry. He's given you, un he's given you riches. He's given you the true riches of God. While others have sought the tangible, the physical riches, you've asked for the true riches, and that is the very character of God. And so he wraps you in a mantle of holiness right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that fire of holiness is in this house right now. But Israel said, we don't want to be led by no prophet. We want a businessman. How my wife doing? <laughs> we are doing well here in Minneapolis. We are taking a quick break uh, in between the conference time period, checking out Minnesota, Minneapolis. This was the, what was that building called? The IDS Center, where we saw Bank of America took care of some business while we was on the road. We got more of that coming to you here in the future. So this is another cool thing by being in this hotel. We're able to walk down this hallway, connect to the different stuff right now, the business hours. I bet this is busy more during the business day. Uh, but right now, after hours, you get to see this nice little walkway. It takes you right to the other hotels all right we are headed out to the conference got the what's that catch the mantle the what oh the what the mantle and gucci catch the mantle right. and, Gu and gucci i don't know what's going on bridget did you use the model well let me see <laughs> the <ground don't> deserve. <laughs> oh! and we at the Mantle Conference. How y'all doing? We're doing great. We are wonderful. Man, and we with the Schulers and it's popping off in here. If I tell you, this is one of the most powerful conferences I've ever been to, okay? Well, at least one of them. And so, you don't have to edit this, but Bridge is my friend. 
It's the bomb. And we my just, man Sharad, you know what Sharad speaks, check him out. This, okay. Anyway, so he got some good footage, so just go check out his story. Peace, man. Get ready for the night. <laughs> it's gonna be explosive. <laughs> we making it in. We in the numbers. in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we're not here just to conceptualize that idea. It's not just great preaching. Practically, what does it look like to co-rule with God? How do we take the things that he said in the heavens, the things that were spoken in this meeting, and literally materialize them in the earth? We put together a structure to do that. We literally have a structure with about 15 tools that we're using to bring God's will from heaven to earth. And it is a structure where you can have measurable, quantifiable outcomes. And I have a book coming out with these structures. <laughs> I'm headed to Hell's Kitchen right after the conference. <laughs> Oh Lord, right after the conference, the saints, look at the saints. The saints is headed to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Y'all, the saints is headed on into Hell's Kitchen. We gonna pray for them. They done just got laid out earlier. But they going down, they going down. I'm, going, I'm just going to be delivered. <laughs> you going down, oh Lord. Let me see if I'm gonna go down into Hell's Kitchen. I'm, I'm just going to do deliverance. <laughs> yeah, we got you on here too, I'm, going I'm to going Hell's to Kitchen. <laughs> Delivery Spanish for fun today. <laughs> Listen, this is a fire. We are in Minneapolis, <laughs> headed to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> we, we coming to take back with the devil stone <laughs> folks. <laughs> going to get the keys. Yeah, we coming back. <laughs> the Saints is at Hell's Kitchen. Now, what is this, my brother? My wife. Prophetess, what you drinking, Prophetess? It wasn't me. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. I'm like.